Hello, reformers, and welcome back to Novoritas. Now, when we left off, we had just done a little bit of a progression episode, so you get to know a little bit more of the process of what I do off screen. I was doing most of that for quite a while. Not many days actually passed, but the days passed very, very quickly when I was running around to the various towns to try and, try and get there before the tournaments ended. Now, what I have done is I've purchased an additional mansion. Thankfully enough, the mansions in Zendar are only worth 15,000 now for some reason. Not entirely sure why that is, but I think it's probably because the property prices are going down. I, it seemed as though all of them went down. So the next thing, which was the... Uh, it's not it's not the palace, but it's the other thing the one after the mansion I can't remember the name of it that is only about 32,000 now, which is actually really nice and I thought to myself Oh, that would be really really cool to be able to do that But obviously I didn't have enough money for it. So I just purchased a mansion and I have a little bit of money left over as you can see here I have about 3,300 and as you see we've also leveled up a couple of forces here. We have mostly cavalry now We still have some footmen, but well, hopefully our trainer skill will do a little bit of that. Obviously my trainer skill... I leveled up again, by the way, <laughs> a little bit. And as you can see, we did get a, a one more point in intelligence. And I expect a point in Weapon Master. Because I felt like that was a really good idea. As we haven't done that in a while. And usually I neglect Weapon Master severely. And I think I've already done the damage, to be honest. I, I think I saw a comment, actually, on that. And I was I was like, oh yes, that's exactly what I've, what I've just done. But... Yeah, that's it's quite annoying, isn't it? It's quite annoying when you decide, hey, you know what, I'm going to try and do this build with this particular character, and then it ends up, you know, biting you in the ass, because then you're just wanting to very much want to get, like, more proficiencies and all that amazing stuff. So, yeah, it's a little bit unfortunate, and it's un also unfortunate that I can't wait here, but the greatest thing that we have seen right now is that our population has increased to 105. I did not do that. I just built a couple of extra shacks and the growth took care of the rest while I was just running around and doing whatever I can, basically. So, as you can see here, ah, uh, yeah, this is, well, wow. Why do we have, oh, no. Colony, st okay, so colony stock 50? How do we have 50 stone, 50 tools, and 50 timber? I suppose we got to the next stage, and maybe when you get to the next stage of a particular colony, maybe they decide to give you some extra things to help you out a little bit. So as you can see, I've populated our town colony place a little bit more, but yeah, we're going to need to move over here to actually build anything, and I'm, I'm kind of wanting to see what, what we're going to be getting. And I think I haven't really built everything I could in the stage 2, menu so we're gonna take a look at stage two real fast just to make sure that I've gotten everything done I'm pretty sure I have everything maybe do I have the blacksmith yeah I do have the blacksmith I do have the lumberjack I don't have the wheat farm I do not have the wheat farm so maybe that would be a good idea but I want to see what's actually going on oh yes a trade good producer as well would be really nice but I want to see what's going on with this so far so we get a house that gives us plus 15 max population. We get a small manor. This is your main building. Colonists gather here to hear news. Okay. And that's work rate. You get a work rate increase and prestige. The town church is insane. A stone wall, stone tower, stone gate. Okay, so basically things that you want to use for defense and stuff like that. So I don't really... I, I say that's the thing. I don't really need this, do I? I think, I think probably the... Manor house would probably be pretty nice because that's a plus 15% work rate and some prestige We are also part of the aristocracy now by the way. I apparently made it all the way to the aristocracy Probably because of releasing those prisoners that I was continually fighting and probably buying all of those mansions as well That has made a huge difference and weirdly enough the two guild halls in Rivercheg and Wercheg they got advanced to the next stage without me actually doing anything so I gained an additional 400 prestige just from doing those two, and I didn't do anything. I literally didn't do anything, so I would assume that the, well, the, the towns themselves, they advance just alone, so that's pretty nice. So, let's build this huge mansion house. Wow, that is actually huge. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to build it next to the marketplace, because who doesn't want to be right next to a marketplace? That's not going to be loud at all. Okay, so, yes, there we are. 
100 prestige points. Now, can I place more than one of those? It's unlikely, isn't it? Highly unlikely. Okay, so let's go for stage two here. We have something that we definitely want to get, which is the wheat farm. And we're going to place that. Where are we going to place that? I think we can probably put it behind the stone quarry or something like that. I think that's probably going to be the... Oh, oh I'm going. Yes, I'm traveling at the speed of light. Ah, oh, yes. That was... Yeah, it's actually really nice and cool to travel like that, but... Yeah, we're going to put it over there. There we go. So that's going to give us a little bit of food. Maybe I can actually stop the trade routes now. I don't think I'm actually going to just yet because the trade routes are really helping us out. And, oh yeah, I didn't mean to do that. Yeah. Okay, so we have a work rate now of 500%. I'm actually kind of surprised. But now we're going to get a trading good producer thing. To make the colony finally run into profits, you can now trade with natives for trade goods. Pl plus one base trade good per week. Now, the thing with this is that he, the reason I'm doing this is not because the dyes are worth it, because apparently, according to one of you that apparently knows a lot about the mod, unfortunately enough for me, because obviously I didn't know as much as you did, but apparently dyes are terrible. Yeah, apparently dyes are terrible for selling, and I'm kind of sad about that because I put a lot of work into this colony, and I... Uh, I really want the dyes to be worth a lot more, but unfortunately they are not, so we're going to put that over there. I do know that this is not defensive at all, but I didn't actually realize the full scope of how big the colony actually is. So, yeah, it's huge. It is actually huge, and I do need to build a couple more fences and things like that, but I, I didn't really have the timber to spare until now, and obviously reaching level 3... That probably made a difference by giving us a little bit of an extra boost there. So, I'm going to build, I think, one additional house that gives us 15 additional spaces, just so that we have that space. And, uh, yeah, I don't want to bring out my weapons, thank you very much. Uh, of course. Yes, he's, he's quite eager, isn't he? Okay, so, yeah, we'll just put a house over there, that's perfectly fine. And, shall I, shall I put another one? I, I think we'll put another one. Just to make sure that while I'm away, the growth does not cease, because I really hate that when that happens, because that happened with the island of Beartild. I've actually done a little bit of, well, shall we say production over there, and yeah, there we go. So that's fantastic. That is really, really nice, and now we have 135 maximum population. I don't even know whether that makes any difference. It probably doesn't make any difference, so I'm probably making a huge error, but, well... Uh, I suppose that's that's just how it's going to go, isn't it? Okay, so let's sail away, shall we? Yes, we still only have 75 maximum capacity as well, which I'm kind of sad about, i got to say, because it would be really nice to have about 100, as I've said. But yeah, as you can see, the garrison is bare. But the growth is at 25% right now, and the work rate is okay. There's three trade lines. It's, it's all right. And I have built a couple of should we say, houses for them to potentially, you know, increase. And, yeah, their stock is actually not bad. Their tools are the worst, but everything else is actually pretty good. So, technically, I don't even have to import anything else over there, but I am going to continue that. Anyway, so there's a little bit of an update on our colonies, and we're going to be sailing away now, because I think we all know where I'm going to be headed. Many of you have said that raiding the Aztec villages is a really, really good way of getting cash. And while I would agree, for the most part, on that, of course, raiding villages is always a very good way of gaining money, I personally feel like I don't really want to do that just in case we do take these towns, because if I take this town right here, we're going to gain this village and this village maybe, and then I could potentially recruit units from it. And I would quite like to do that, so let's disembark. And we're going to see, yeah, there's a lot of script errors there, but uh, that's, that's just how it is. Okay, so we're going to see, are there any Aztecs around here? Are you, are you here? Is there, is anyone here? No? No one, no one is here? Okay, well, that's, that's unusual. That is very unusual. I'm kind of worried about actually attacking this because it has 549. I mean, they're just going to outnumber us so severely that we're not going to be able to do anything in the siege. But I would love to be able to take a look at the siege map itself, because it's probably going to be unique in some way. And that would be pretty amazing to find out. But, okay, so... Oh, see, so there you go. Look at that. We happily inform you that the Guild Hall of Wurcheg has been upgraded to the third level. 200 prestige points are awarded to you. So, in other words, 
you don't even have to donate money to the guild hall. You can get it done a lot, well, a, a lot anyway, just by not even doing anything. You can just become a master of your trade in that town, and then they upgrade it automatically by the looks of things? At, at least that's how it seems to be for me, but maybe it's a little bit weird, I don't know. Ah, this might actually be doable. We might be able to take this. Because if I'm able to take this, this would mean that I then have friendly territory on this island and then I'm able to basically land wherever I want as far as I'm aware because this beach is right here and we can very easily get, well, get in and get out very fast. So, I am actually going to try taking this. I don't hold out much hope, I have to say, because we're, we're running in with footmen first. But I'm going to try it anyway. They, they do have ladders. This is meaning that we are declaring formal war right here. So this means that... Yes. Oh dear. This means uh, the greatest thing ever. They say that you have defeated Eagle Yapokatopan, but I will be a true test of your skill at arms. Not really, because you brought a friend and your friend has 290-something, and you have 290-something, and you're going to be having a fun old time destroying me, aren't you? Yes, you are very, very nice, aren't you? Uh, okay, so we're actually going to charge in here. Our battle advantage is of minus 16. Yes, minus 16. Well... I can't do much about this, and that's exactly the problem with declaring formal war. Uh, yeah. Maybe I should have attacked them separately, but that's the thing. I was hoping that many of the Aztec vassals would not indeed have this many available just yet, because the ones I saw, they only had about 80 to 100, and I was like, oh yeah, we can, we can deal with those. But this... This is ludicrous. This is absolutely ludicrous. I am I'm unsure how we are going to do this, but I suppose we're going to fire off our random arrows into them. Try and get a couple of weapon proficiency points cuz you never you never know. Maybe I'm actually going to Oh, I did actually hit someone for one damage. And that's not boding well, is it? No, that does not bode well at all. One damage. Are we serious? Come on now. Come on, Diggory. You can do a lot better than that. Oh, there we go. There's 16 damage. That's a little bit better. Let's just increase our proficiency as much as we can. But look at all of these archers. All of these archers are just... Oh, th there's already one coming up here. Oh, hello there. Okay, I'm not going to charge in just yet. But... I don't know what I can do. I mean, there's nothing I can do. There is literally 155 of the enemy bearing down upon us right now. And it's not going to end well, is it? Oh, it's not going to end well. Not at all. But I suppose we're going to try our very best. And maybe... You never know. I mean, maybe we'll actually take out some of their more important units or something along those lines. But yeah, from what I can tell, we're probably just going to... Oh, yes. We are just going to get absolutely bombarded if you go to the edge there. Because look at all of these archers. That is insane. That is absolutely insane. So... Yep, probably a good idea if I had done a couple more tournaments to get some more renown, but the renown doesn't actually seem to increase your party size that much, which is actually kind of strange because renown usually is the way to go, so maybe I need to increase my leadership a little bit, but that's going to be very, very difficult. Oh my. Yeah, I think we are probably going to just have to retreat. Thankfully, the Aztecs only seem to use blunt weaponry, so most of our forces are actually going to stay alive, but yeah, obviously that's going to be a little bit difficult. Okay, I'm going to have to retreat. There's not much more I can do. There's literally nothing I can do against such an overwhelming force. We did kill 12 of them, but we lost 30, so that is pretty harsh. We only have 44 remaining. That is very bad. Thankfully, they are very, very, well, very, very large. I was about to say small, but yeah, thankfully their armies are extremely large, I'm kind of surprised that he decided to attack us so extremely much, but we're going to find out what happens, because maybe now they are going to attack one of my colonies. Who's that? See, now that's the kind of thing I'm talking about. 48. That would have been nice. That definitely would have been nice to fight, but no. No such luck. Oh, we did gain our sprite. 
back once again. Oh yes, and also the mod creator apparently is watching the series, so thank you very much for, for doing that, and obviously thank you very much for creating the mod, because it is probably one of the, well, I would probably say the most complex mod I have ever played, so there we go. <laughs> that is, that's pretty impressive. Anyway, let's go into the beach. Into the beach, yes, onto the beach, whatever you want to say. And we're now going to... I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do, because we can't wait here for some time. I can basically just kind of wait, and maybe the Aztecs are going to come over here. But... I don't know whether they can, actually. They've shown themselves to have some problems disembarking from their islands, so I'm pretty happy about that, but... Yeah, I think I just need to pick my battles a little bit smarter in the future. As you can see, we did get a little bit of a couple of level ups. And yeah, I do need to replace these crossbowmen with some actual archers because they're just too slow. They are just too slow. So I'm going to put these in the garrison and I'm going to swap them out for some Vagias or maybe some Saranids. We'll see what I can do about that because obviously Vagia territory is very far away. But yeah, there you go. That will be it for this episode. Unfortunately, we were not able to take the fight to the Aztecs a little bit more fiercely, but obviously they outnumbered us so incredibly much. So, anyway, I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.